This is going to be a really short video and I'm talking to you if you're really serious about playing the saxophone. Now, nowadays it's really common for people to go out on YouTube, you know, like in this video and look for answers. How do I get a better sound? How do I get my fingers to move? How, how that, how that and stuff like that, right? Which is cool, right? But all the answers that you're looking for on the computer or on your phone, right? Will kind of disappear if you practice, right? So don't think that a video in passive learning will get you the answer. Yeah, you, well, you might understand it, but then you have to implement that. So if you watch 10 videos, it's gonna be 10 different ideas of how people explain the same thing, perhaps, right? But then it's up to you to actually put it in practice. Make sense? So if you practice consistently, I'm not talking about practicing, you know, for seven hours a day, for years and years and years, you know? You can do that if you want to, right? But I'm talking about consistent practicing. So if you do like half an hour every day for six months, all the answers and all the questions that you have right now will kind of disappear because you're gonna have made a progress within yourself. Here, here, not here. Make sense, okay? So that's what I wanna emphasize, that it's great to look for answers, but then stop and you know, get down to work, get down to playing the saxophone and analyzing what the hell you're doing, record yourself, you know, grab your phone, record yourself, just do it audio, no no matter, for, you know, don't, don't care about video, just audio, listen, okay, oh, oh I'm, I sound like this, great, oh, I sound like shit, okay, great, how can I make it better? Ask yourself, ask yourself questions, okay? Don't ask the computer, don't ask the phone questions because the videos don't know you, you know yourself way better than what the, you know, technology knows you, okay? So that's what I want to emphasize. Have a practice journal, like, again, so you can keep track of what, what the hell you're doing, right? If yesterday you played something at 76 BPM, you know, uh, tomorrow, you, you might forget that. So at least you have it on paper that you played it at 76. Oh, great, 76, can I push it to 78? Or can I push it to 82 or whatever, right? Keep track of all those things, whether it's on a journal or on the score, it doesn't really matter, okay? Just keep track of something so you can, you know, push yourself a little a little more. If you don't push yourself, you, do, you just gotta practice and, and floating, then it's really hard to, to go somewhere. And also, very important, have a goal. Where do you want to go? Okay, why are you playing? Go. You play because you want to play for your friends, you want to play um, a local pub or whatever, right? Have a goal because you want to um, learn a specific song. Have a goal. If you don't have a goal, then practice is completely, you know, um, pointless, right? We practice because of something. So if you don't have a goal, then practice becomes just like, a, yeah, I, don't, I have to practice. I have to do it, you know, but why? Why? We practice um, f with intention and we practice with a direction. Make sense? Okay? So that's what I want to say today because it's very, very important that you understand this if you want to progress further. Look the, look for the answers inside. Put the hours, you know, practice. Make the time, you know, make the effort and uh, you will see that practicing will actually become your daily, your daily, part of your daily routine, okay? Uh, and that's how, you know, musicians live, <laughs> right? Okay. So if we go on holidays, right, we feel guilty because we're not practicing. Um, that's kind of the, the obsession of, of being a musician, but that's how it is, right? If you feel that urge, then do it and do it for yourself. Don't do it for me. Don't do it for anyone else. Just do it for yourself because then when you look back, you're going to thank yourself. You're going to be proud of yourself. And you're going to go like, oh man, yeah, wow. I can really feel, I can really see the progress that I've made because I put, you know, that half an hour every day. It's, it's great. It's, it can, you know, there, there will be ups and downs for sure, you know, um, but that's part of the game. That's how music works. You learn something, then you forget it. You learn something, then you forget it. Then you learn something, then you forget a little less. Then you learn something else, then you forget a little less until you actually, you know, you have built um, a good foundation and a good um, technique and sound and all those things. <laughs> Make sense? Okay. So that's what I wanted to say. You know, if you want to work more closely with me, have lots of tips like this. I, I guide lots of students in how to develop and how to progress and how to really find themselves in the saxophone and how to 
um, achieve just a better way of playing and practicing. All the details are here below to apply for the Saxophone Mentorship Program. It's an online mentorship program. It's a great thing. It's a great new program that I've uh, started a few months ago. If you want to join, you can apply now. I will be really happy to talk to you and explain more and actually learn, you know, the things that you struggle with, the things that you are happy with and where you're going to go. So I'll leave you with that and happy practicing. Mm-hmm.